Hey guys, welcome back to Techogram. Today we're going to learn the third method of solving transportation problem, which is Vogel's appropriation method. We already learned matrix minima method and northwest corner method. So let's get started. In this method, what you have to do, you have to mainly look the difference between our data. So there will be a new row and column which will be called difference and difference on both the sides. Now we will start from the row and see which is the smallest number and the number before that. So in this you can see in these three data, the D1 column 20, 24, 32, the 20 is the smallest and the number after that is 24. So the difference between these two is 4. Now in the D2 column, the 22, 37, 37, 22 is the smallest number and the next number is 37. So you have to minus this, 37 minus 22 and the difference between will be 15. In the third column, the 17, among 17, 9 and 20, the 9 is the smallest number and because there is a number before the 9, so we have to take that number. There was no number before 20 and 22, so we have taken number after that, but there is a number before 9, so we have to take that number instead. And now 19 and 17, the difference both between these two will be 8. And in the D4 column, you can see among 4, 7, 15, the smallest number is 4, and number after that is 7. So 7 minus 4 will be 3. Now do the same thing for the rows. You can see in this among 4, this 4 is the smallest, the number before 4 is 17. So the difference between these two will be 13. 17 minus 4 will be 13. And in the second row, O2 row, you can see there are 4 numbers 24, 37, 9, 7 and the smallest number is 7. Then you have to look the next number which is 9 and the difference between these two will be 2. Go to the third row, you can see the smallest number among 32, 37, 20 and 15 is 15 and the number before that is 20. So the difference between these two will be 20 minus 15 will be 5. Now what you have to do, we have to look the largest difference among all these 7 difference 4, 15, 8, 3 and 13 to 5. You can see the largest difference is 15. And then because the number is in the column, we have to see the whole column and we have to see which is the smallest number. So 37, 37 and 22. The 22 is the smallest number. So make a box here and you can see the 22 is intersect on the 120th supply and 40 demand. So you have to take into consideration 120 and 40. So 120 minus 40 will become 80. So this 120 will become 80 and this 40 will become 0 and the smallest number among them will be written over here. So just like the matrix minimum method because this column's value is 0 we have to remove this whole column. And now because we removed a whole column the difference will be changed here because now there are only 3 values but let's see that is there any change in the difference. So do the same thing, find the smallest number and number before that. So the smallest number is just 4 and number before that is 17. Though the new difference will also be the 13. You can remove this if you want. In the second, in the second row you can see the smallest number is 7 and the number after before that is 9 and the number before that is 9. So difference between two now it is just the same. And in the third row the smallest number is 15 and the number after that is 20. So the difference is just the same. So there is no change in the difference of the rows. So the data of the D1, D3 and D4 will remain the same, 4, 8, 3. Now do the same thing. Now find which is the largest difference among the 6, 4, 8, 3 and 13 to 5. You can see the 13 is the largest here. So you have to take consideration into O1 row and find which is the smallest number. So the smallest number in this whole row is 4. So make a box here. And the 4 is intersect that you can see 80 and when you go down you find 110. So the difference between these two will be 30. So 110 minus 80, this 80 will become 0. This 110 will become 30. And the smallest number between these two will be written over here. Now because this turned into 0, you have to remove this whole row. And now because a row is missing, there might be some changes in the difference of this column. So you have to see, now the smallest number is 24 and the number after that is 32. So the difference between 24 and 32 will be 8. So the new difference is 8, you can cut out this. In the D3 column, you can see that there are only two number, 9 and 20. The difference between these two will be 11. So the new difference is 11. And in the third column you can see there are two numbers 15 and 7 and the difference between these two will be 8 so the new difference is 8 and 
this 13 because this became 0 this 13 got cut out and there are only two remaining and there will be no change in the differences of O1 and O2 now just do the same thing find out which is the largest difference among the remaining one so you can see 11 is the largest now go on the upper side and see which is the smallest number the 9 is the smallest make a box and the 9 intersected 30 and the 70 demand and supply so the difference between these two will be 70 minus 30 will be 40 so this 70 will become 40 this 30 will become 0 and the smallest number between these two will be written over here so 30 is the smallest in 70 and 30 this will be written over here now because this column turned into 0 we have to clear out this column so we create a line and now this column is removed because a column is removed there will be change in the differences of the O2 and O3 so now there are only two number remaining you can see there are only two number remaining now what you have to do find the new difference so 24 minus 7 will be the new difference will be 17 and 32 minus 15 the new difference will be 17 again so 32 minus 15 to 17 and there will be no change in the differences of the D1 and D4 column you can see 24 minus 32 will become 8 and 15 7 will be 8 now you have to see which has the maximum difference now you can see we have a dilemma here that we have two maximum differences 17 and 17 which one you have to choose so you can see if we choose the second one the the smallest number will be 15 but if we choose the first one the smallest number will be 7 so you have to choose the row which has the smallest number so we will choose O1 because it has the smallest number and now because we are choosing this we will make a square here just do the same thing find the number which is smallest among these two so 24 7 the smallest number is 7 so we will start taking this into consideration so now 40 and 30 because this intersect at this demand and supply so 40 minus 30 will become 10 this 40 will become 10 this 30 will become 0 and the smallest number between this is 10 now you can see because this became 0 we have to remove out this whole column now we have just two numbers remaining 24 and 30 and we have 10 and 8 now because there are only two numbers remaining just allocate the remaining supply over here and the problem will be solved there is 10 remaining so we will write the 10 here and the 50 is remaining over here so because there is no number left there is only one number left now write the 50 over here now what you have to do just do the same thing which we have did in VAM and matrix minimum method so we need all the cell which has two values in them so start from anywhere you can see this 10 and 24 multiply this 10 multiply 24 plus go to the next cell 32 multiply 50 and do same thing for all of these columns now we have written all this problem we have to calculate the answer so this will become 240 and now the final answer will be 3520 this is how you can solve the transportation problem using the vogels abrogation method hope you like the video if you like the video press the like button if you have any question comment query or suggestion leave that in the comment box subscribe for more bye